Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. So today what I would like to do is um, not go and do some croptopia stuff but to actually make steel using Techraborn. It's actually not straightforward so let's get started. Actually the first thing I'd like to do is to have a quick look at this because it didn't actually run this time. Normally it does automatically start up. There's a program in here called Startup so if we can, we can edit Startup lower and you can see that this actually just runs this packet program um but it's actually not running at the moment so let's just exit this and start it up again the reason it didn't work is because it was pointing in the wrong direction um just to think about when you save the game happens in this case so let's just start it because there's quite a bit a few bits and pieces to be packed and you see what it was doing then it was actually emptying everything out before it started to do anything so if I, for example, I happen to stop the game as it turns round, which is what I did, <laughs> it didn't, um, it didn't work, which so it didn't stay in the wrong position. So in here we're getting all sorts of bits and pieces. So we've got a small pile of some ashes and a stick. I'll leave that in there. I shall take that with us. So I'm going to let that run because I've also got everything that has been created in terms of dusts in here and you can see there's quite a few of them as it happens don't want the magnet in there um some good ones and useful ones like diamond dust here that's very handy and i think i've actually got five pieces of steel as well steel dust wherever i can if i can see it here steel dust we've got five steel dust and that's actually quite handy because this is the one I'm, the, today's goal is but I'm not going to use that. You'll also notice I put a, I put a golden chest on the golden chest and I got a tall golden chest. I also made a shulker box because that's another drop that comes out of the recycler so you get some shulker shells coming out of there from time to time. And blaze powders and blaze rods as you can see, just in case. So let's have a look at this program here because I did make a slight change in it. So you can go and get the program. Um, by simply using a paste bin command and that's the little token that you get back from paste bin and it, I put those in my last program this one's called packer so we'll just get it we'll get the, the program on the edit packer because um, I want to just show you something about this just at the very beginning of here because what it does first of all is it goes through the slots and where does it say I think it should be at the, no maybe not maybe not in this version I haven't done it <laughs> Let's go back into the other version then. Because there was one line I put in at the beginning of this. Uh, I probably have to wait for it to turn around now. Control and T. To stop it. And then let's edit the packer as well. Uh, like that. So what I did is wanted to clear the inventory to start with. So it goes through all 16 slots selects the slot and then just drops the item in front of it and then when it's finished it goes to slot one so it's ready for the next run and you can see that now if we just basically run the program in fact you'll see it going through these and putting these back in into that chest so let's just run the program You'll see it puts all those through and it goes through all the rest of these slots here and then it brings them out again and it's sitting here waiting to come into this one. There's nothing in here at the moment. As soon as something comes in, then we should be able to get it. So at the moment I've got a few more bits and pieces from here. Uh, anthracite, dust, rubies, bricks. I haven't seen that one before. Got a diamond as well and a small pile of gosselar dust and a small pile of lazarite dust. What else have we got here? Alaman dust, electrum dust, Netherrack, I haven't seen that either before, so that's a new one. I've got a small cinnabar dust and sulfurite dust or something like that. I think that's actually a zinc based thing. So I've got quite a few. So that's working very nicely. And I can start and stop the game whenever I like. So let's just basically put those in. I want the diamond out of here, don't I? And I want the ruby because I've got a different place for those. We'll have a look at that now because it's well worth looking at. You'll see I've got one stack and 22 diamonds now. Um, and the ruby I want to put away in here too. I found some more. I also got some an emerald, and there was a small emerald. Uh, there was a small emerald collection. It was actually a very large. Normally you get emeralds in one block, but this particular one I got lots and lots. Right, so let's get started with what I want to do today. So you'll see I've got some stuff prepared here. 
And we're going to go through that. The first one here is simply a wire mill. And that requires brass plates. Now, I had got enough zinc in here to actually make four um, brass plates. So that wasn't a, too difficult. Otherwise, you can't do it. I needed one zinc to make four ingots. So we can take this wire mill and we'll put it down. And what that does is let's have a look at uses of it, actually. So I've got this, uh, I've got this now achievement wire. And look at the uses of this. So the wire mill itself basically gives you six times for each ingot. So that basically normally would take three ingots to make six. Yes. So now we've got one. So it's a lot of a good saving, especially for these other materials like um, gold cable and I'll actually get that's just basically refined iron and tin cable as well. So it's good. It's worthwhile doing. So we'll, we'll use that in future. And the next one along here is a rolling machine. So let's go back and have a look first of all at steel because what i wanted to make was the end result of this was would have been um this one looks quite complicated it's actually the industrial grinder so we'll have a look at the industrial grinder so the industrial grinder is this one and that requires these three diamond grinding heads these three diamond grinding heads require steel ingots so if we look for the recipe for steel ingots now I'm only concerned about um, Minecraft or Tech Reborn. I don't want to look at the other mods in this one. So we can blast some steel dust, and that'll give us some a steel ingot. In a in a in a um, blast furnace, what we can do is we can take four coal dust and one refined iron, and then blast that. So that means in order to get steel, we need to make the blast furnace first. Um, or we can use carbon cells and refined iron. Now, carbon cells, recipe for that. We can also we can do in the industrial centrifuge, um, fluid replicator, and the industrial electrolyzer. So, ashes plus an empty cell will give a carbon cell. Okay, but we can also do it this way here. With one coal dust and two empty cells will give us two carbon. Again, that's a saving. So we wanted to do it this way. We've already built the industrial electrolyzer, so we're, we're going to make steel that way. Let's go back a bit, and I should be able to find that. So this is the preferred recipe here. It's quite slow, but it's the preferred recipe. But we've got to make the blast furnace. Now, to make the blast furnace, we need two electric furnaces. No big deal, we've made those already. An advanced machine frame, not so, so bad. Some advanced circuits, not so bad, because we're getting... Um, glowstone from both the um, recycler and also from the battle towers but we need these cuprinol heating coils okay so therefore we need nickel ingots and copper nickel ingots now that's an interesting one that's the problem so the recipe for this we've got to get the right recipe actually one of those doesn't work so we can smelt these things so we can smelt nickel or i haven't seen any nickel yet so maybe that has been disabled. Crushed nickel dust, same thing with that one. But nickel dust. So the recipe for nickel dust is this one. Small piles of nickel, or these. And I actually haven't come across much of these, but these four we can actually craft into one. So let's have a look at how we make these. This is where it gets a bit complicated. We can use an industrial centrifuge. With some iron dust, we'll produce one small tin dust and one small pile of nickel. So basically, that means in order to get four of these, we need 16. Is that right? Yeah, we need 16 small piles of nickel. So we need um, 32 ironing dust to do that. So let's go and have a look because I have actually prepared that. Actually, it's night time. I'll be back in a second. Right. <laughs> I just, uh, um, Mr. Travelling Trader is gone now. Um, so, we've got these small pile of nickel dust. I did one, basically a stack, so that gave me 32 of those and 32 of tin. So we can then convert those in the crafting table to nickel dust. So let's do that. This will give me eight. And I can do the same with this one. I'm not sure I made eight. I'm honest with you. Maybe I made too many. Because it's very expensive. And it's very slow too. So now 
with these we can then smelt these up i hope we can smelt those in a standard in a standard furnace maybe not so let's just try these yes so that's working as you can see so i'm going to end up with eight nickel ingots oh i know why i needed eight because let's go back to the recipe book and have a look at the industrial blast furnace this one it needs four rings to make a ring this will produce three in the rolling machine so we've got to make a rolling machine first so that needs two compressors a basic machine frame some pistons nothing actually too difficult we've done all of this before so i have prepared that and that's in here so let's get it out that's the rolling machine okay i'm going to put these down now so i needed to make two sets so basically it was one stack of iron that was required I've got a space over here we can put the stuff down in here for example let's put the rolling machine here and let's put the wire mill over here it doesn't really matter where we put them and then we should be able to you'll see it's getting enough power in here so we should be able to roll up those once we've got the the rings so we have to basically get the rings they should be nearly ready six I need to wait for two more so we need some copper ingots and I've got plenty of copper ingots let's just get those out of here let's just split that into four like that in fact i can put the tin over here it was just a that was just a byproduct really not too important so where are we <coughs> i'm waiting for this to come up aren't i so we've now got our eight and eight so we can now come to the rolling machine which is this one and then put in the recipe now I'm, so i think if i'm not mistaken these are in the corners so let's do if I got it wrong, I'll move them around, no big deal. And that's working. So we should get six of these rings. And now we can, with those six rings, we should be able to make the next machine. Hard work. <clears throat> Cooper and all heating coils. Probably got more uses than just the one. Oh no, just got the one use. And we need four of these to make one industrial blast furnace. Fantastic there we go so now we can make the industrial blast furnace and we're left with two of these over and then we get this industrial blast furnace it's actually a medium tier machine now i can run medium tier machines with these you'll notice i also got two more of these this one i've actually upgraded and i'm going to do the advanced to industrial uh, upgrade probably today so maybe not it's actually fairly straightforward as it happens just diamond stuff so there we have we've now got this incomplete multi-block oh oh i'm supposed to do other bits and pieces with this i might i didn't realize that <laughs> let's go and have a look um okay not what i expected so we need to do these what are these things in here buckets of lava no big deal and this must be some other component i don't know it is see i haven't done this before so let's have a look and see what that could be um let's have a look at blast nope i wonder what these could be it must maybe it's furnace related nope Have a quick look if I can spot it quickly. If not, I shall come back in a second or two. Right, I think it's a standard casing. So the standard casing requires a basic machine frame, which looks reasonably... Iron plates. Okay, we can do iron plates. That'll be quicker than doing refined iron ingots. Uh, or we can use aluminium plates. We're not ready to do that yet. So we can do these. Two electronic circuits. So that produces four we need 36 i think that's so it's basically it's nine by four high isn't it so that's uh, 36 minus two for the, these two so that's 34. right i'm going to have to make these i didn't expect that so i'll be back in a second when i've made these well i'm back and i've got everything prepared i was using the industrial centrifuge to make uh, rubber because that uses four to make 14 so that's probably the best return we can get for that one um 
the wire mill was definitely a great save because I basically needed one ingot to make one circuit which is a lot of a sa big saving actually and then we come over here and I've got the stuff prepared so for example we need 18 electronic circuits as far if my calculations are correct so let's take those we need eight basic machine frames and then that should allow us to put basically oh I've got now I've got made nine don't I <laughs> So we've got 32 of these and we need another one. I'll be back in a second because it's just coming up to daytime. Night time I mean. Well I'd already got this I'd already got this prepared, it hasn't made it yet. So let's just put that into that and then we should have these. So we need two buckets of lava. I think I've got some of those stored somewhere in one of my I think it's in miscellaneous to be honest with you. I guess we've got two buckets of lava. So let's see if we can make this up. And now I've moved it because it was obviously too tight where I had it before. So let's see if we can put this down. I'm not sure how we do it, but let's just see if this works anyway. So fairly straightforward, if I'm not mistaken. Let's put them down like this. We we need three at the bottom, don't we? Uh, are these things in the way? Yes, they are. So then we can simply put the stuff up next layer. Oh, here we go again. <clears throat> you know what I'm th I'm thinking about this guy. I really do hate these guys at the moment. So the first thing I do is grind them when I get a chance. So let's put a bucket of lava in here. And let's make the next lever up. Okay, good. Let's do the next one. Right, let's see if this is now complete. Indeed it is, and it's got some heat in there. So we can at last start to do stuff. So now I have already got prepared the, um, in here, some silicon cells. It just needs some more tubes. We'll get those back when we start to make this, I think. And then we need some refined iron. So I've got some refined iron. The idea is to make four steel, isn't it? So let's put four steel in here with the ref with the copper 16 I think we need eight but it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do make eight anyway so that's progressing as you can see we should be getting some steel and some empty carbon tubes back again whoa power's going down fast so I'm gonna have to make some more of these industrial solar panels I'll do that between episodes hopefully we get enough to make one we do good so we can take this i'm not going to go and put this back into here yet well i can do of course um into the industrial electrolyzer but you'll see this is extremely slow um and it drops the power down immediately as soon as you do that so i have to be patient but we have our first steel fantastic in fact for that matter since we've got our first steel, let's take the steel that we've got out of here. I think we've got five, so let's just take th three of those and smelt those up. I think we can smelt those in a standard blast furnace. I've got a standard blast furnace over here. Indeed we can. And it goes fat, nice and fast. All right, I'm losing one, wasting a bit of ore there. It doesn't make much difference. Two and three. So we now have four steel. It's also very good because then we can make aluminium. Once we've got the blast furnace, we can make aluminium. So here we go. So the next thing on this to make the grinder, industrial grinder, was these. So we need one diamond and four diamond dust. We're getting, actually, I'm getting diamond dust out of the recycler. That makes three diamond grinding wheels. This one again is not too difficult. We've done advanced frames, we've done industrial electrolyzer, and we've done a grinder. So let's just put these three in the middle like that. And we get an industrial grinder. Fantastic. Hopefully that's not multi-block. We will see in a second. And also here I've got some blue ice, some snow, and a glass stained, white stained glass. And this makes a cooler from Kilby. And that's actually no, another one of the quest items. What we can do with this is put food into it. Um, so I can put some egg rolls in there. 
And so whenever I need, I'm hungry, as long as it's in my inventory, I'll get automatically fed, which is great because I sometimes get hungry. <laughs> Especially when I'm jumping off that in order to get some damage to and then basically you need to get some damage in order to bring build up your nourishment a bit after so how are we doing this one not too bad a little bit short on power doesn't matter it will take time you will actually notice I've got quite a few of these um, so let's have a quick look at the quest book before we go so I've now got six quests which have been completed and I died seven times. I don't want to know about that. <laughs> so, Kibi, I've got one quest. Let's have a look at this one. Open that. That will be the cooler here. So, we've got this one. And we get two emeralds. Fine. I don't know if I've got enough space. We'll have to go back over here. And just get some more space opened up. So, emeralds are in here. No problem. And I've got... Oh, I've got a stack of emeralds. I've also got some emerald ore and diamond ore in here. And the uses of these will... Because I did actually make a silk pitch. I silk touch pick I enchanted a pick and I got efficiency for an unbreaking and I got a book from one of the villages for silk touch it was because I got um, it was only five emeralds so it wasn't too bad I can manage that right the next one let's finish off this quest and go back so then there are more things to be done which will this is probably for mob stuff I'm not ready to do that yet slingshot well maybe that's quite a good one and this one here start the time it's a redstone clock don't need that just yet um, let's go back to the book again and again so we've got storage which is one quest completed this one's actually iron oh, so this is iron barrels so I get another iron barrel and some asparagus seeds actually not too bad I'm going to put one of those seeds in here because I don't think I've got the other one um, see, so my stuff's a bit full. Let's just put it in. So that's a new seed. We'll put that down in the farm. Or oh, I should put down the. Um, before I do anything, let me put down that. Where am I going to put this one? Not there. It's probably been trodden on. Let's put it down there. Um. I do want to put this down make sure it's not a multi-block because if it's a multi-block I've got to prepare the stuff for next time let's put it down industrial grinder here yeah, it is a multi-block and again it's more of these in fact this time it's not Ooh, I say not too bad these are obviously advanced machine casings a bucket of water so I'm going to have to find another place to put this um, maybe somewhere about here we can probably do that move this out of the way the rolling machine in fact i don't think we need the rolling machine ever again the only recipe for it is that those rings so we can put that away safely i also did make a wrench and i made a wrench because in the old days in industrial craft uh, industrial craft 2 if you broke a machine you didn't get the machine back but you can shift right click and you safely get these machines back in here um Tecra Born was the same, and that's at least in the Forge version, so I'm not taking a chance, because uh, it is a pain if you lose a machine when you've broken it with a pickaxe, because <clears throat> it always says it's uh, available to do. Uh, so what else I forgot to put away in here? A flower, let's get rid of the flower, so we can actually can get, them, get the rest of the quest. Let's put this away down here, all these two. So now let's have a look at rolling machine. We'll put the rolling machine in here. Actually, we've got two of these standard machine casings. That's good. The advanced machine casings are steel plates. Okay, well, we can make steel now, so we should be able to do that one. In fact, as it happens, therefore, these two quests in the quest book are actually the wrong way around. So maybe I shall report that. Let's have a look. Because you can't do the industrial grinder before you've done this. Let's go back. And we're going back. Next one would be a, go a gold barrel. Um, I haven't done this. This is just basically storage upgrades to convert something inside. We'll probably do that because that's also quite handy. So we've got four quests in Tech Reborn. Let's open and look at this one. We've got this basic building box which is completed. So we get two supreme pizzas. Claim those. That's for this standard machine casing. 
Okay, these are to make some multi-blocks and tech reborn. Okay, that's what it tells you. Good. You see, these two here are the wrong way around. This is the barrister to the oars, which is an industrial grinder. Obviously, we can't do that. But we've made we get some mercury cells. They're quite good, I believe, for later on. And we've also completed this one, blast up. Um, so that we get a standard machine casing for that. Actually, that'll be handy anyway, because they are... A, bit of a nuisance and the last one here was this one to get two peanut butter jams to make an industrial solar panel the next one along here is another solar panel here um which i'm not going to do yet but i probably i've already done this one because this is very handy to do i'm not quite sure why the order of these is like this this one we're also going i'm going to make prepare the chainsaw and i'm also going to prepare the um basic jackhammer because they're handy to get anyway um, they save quite a lot they don't last very long but they do save a lot I'll tell you what I'll be back in a second so I made this a resin basin um, the resin basin let's have a look at the recipe for the resin basin quickly because it's probably run out of time it's this one here so this is rubber wood planks, that's no big deal. Uh, drain is actually a bit of a pain because we need a hopper so that's and a bucket, that's seven pieces of iron. We need four repairing plates, that's um, 11 pieces of iron, plus these three, which is 24. So we're talking about um, 35 pieces of iron to make one of these drains. Sort of expensive. And what it does, if you put a, uh, a chest underneath it or something like that and it slowly collects sap from this tree which is great i'm not sure whether i've got it on the best tree uh, i wasn't 100 percent sure if it actually picks all of the sap off the tree it looks like it is doing so it might well be worthwhile moving this to a tall tree like this one and then we get more sap more quickly well, in fact it might even be possible to make it go up itself well that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been quite a long road to make the blast furnace. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.